Hey everyone, I'm Teach Pine, and we're back to Door Kickers, and we will do mission 4 today, kicking the door. It's the first map with the door, I think. So we have four tangos in one big room, and there's a door in front of Lock and load. the room. Let's so do this. Click for available Roger. actions. Okay. Uh, right click, obviously. We could do uh, spy cam stuff, which is actually pretty cool, Perfect. so let's do that. Wilco, hostile in sight. So we can use this while in pause mode, so... I think that changed the patch. I think this wasn't possible before, you had to unpause it. So, um, we can see everything which is in the, well, what is in the room. So, I think a good idea is to throw a flashbang on these three guys while shooting at this guy and then taking on these three guys. So, can we cancel that? Yes. No, not this way. Maybe this way. Okay, so okay. bring our guys in position okay. like this. Affirmative. Then this guy Roger. throws Roger. a flashbang in this general area. And this Welcome. guy moves through here. I'm not sure if this works as I want it to. Could be possible that mm, this guy opens the door before the other one throws a flashbang, but. Not. Okay, it was not perfect because we got hit before we entered the room, but we should be good actually. Let's see a little bit further. That one is down, so we can turn this guy around. Yes. We're done here. Good job. Okay, that wasn't wasn't perfect. Oh, it's wow! It was too slow. Wow, interesting. Okay, so we have to be two seconds faster actually. So let's try let's that again. This. Um. Okay. Roger. I'm on it. Roger. Roger. I'm not sure if they will stay at the same spot, but I think they do. Roger. So let's try it this way, actually. Flash out! Well, he got the first one before even before the flashbang hits, so that's pretty decent. Okay. No, no, no! Watch this direction. No! Turn! For damn it! You okay. Okay, it worked. <laughs> but only because this terrorist was a bad shot, a terrible shot to say the least. He was not shocked, and I killed three of his guys before he. Sh Took a shot at me. Okay, sh shoot, but he, uh, he shot, but he did not hit. Or he hit, but he did not kill my guy. So, um, that worked way better than expected. Um, it would be nice to have the possibility to force the SWAT guy to turn around and focus on this, uh, the other guy. Because, yeah, in this situation, it would be beneficial. I had one guy shooting at his stunt targets, but I knew that there was an unstunt target in the corner. and. It would have been awesome to have the possibility to turn around and shoot that guy. Nevertheless, there are people in his, um, yeah, in his corner of view um, he could shoot on. So um, that was a little bit annoying, but due to luck, I did it anyway. <laughs> That's, by the way, another point which is a little critique on the game. There's a little bit much luck involved at points. It's, I'm not sure how to erase that. But, um, yeah, I don't know, if it's, I don't know, it, it's hard, probably, without uh, totally changing everything, um, it's probably hard to remove that. Uh, if you look at a game like, uh, what is it called, um, Frozen Synapse, for example, there was no l or no real, no real luck involved at all, um, because you had different factors which uh, which modified the chance of a firefight if two people face each other. Um, are you in cover? Are you moving? Are you uh, crouched? Um, do you aim in this direction? Are you in aiming more or are you just moving it, moving fast? And there were so many factors, and each factor modified the chance, or not not a chance actually. So, you know, with, um, the factors influenced who was in a better position, and who was in a better position won that firefight and killed the other guy. So. There was no luck involved at all, no real luck. Um, there was luck 
when you don't know where the enemy is and stuff like that, sure, but there was no real luck at all if you saw the enemy. So, um, that was that was one way to do it. I don't think this will work in this game, but maybe you can think of something, something similar. The hit rates are just too random and while having different spawn locations for your terrorists is good because you can't abuse the fact that you know where they are if you play a level at the same time. But it's bad in effect because uh, bad because you yeah it's random so <laughs> that's it actually so I don't know I'm not really sure I cannot really give a point how to improve that but it would be nice to have it improved so maybe the devs have a really good idea or someone else has a really good idea uh, yeah if you have one you can <laughs> uh, post it in the comments uh, we can discuss that so for this video thanks a lot for watching have fun and see you for mission 5 I think